overview of how VMR works. The uh, uh, repeater itself is a Motorola, at least in our case, where we have here is the XPR8400. And uh, the brand new repeater that we were able to purchase last year. Within the repeater itself, there's a, a network card that um, um, allows us to connect to the network. And right now, most of our, our actually all our repeaters are connected to the internet. And then from there, it connects to what we call a Seabridge, which is basically a server running a Linux-based uh, software that manages the uh, connections between all the different repeaters and, and, uh, in the area or who's ever connected to that Seabridge. And there's a handful of Seabridges throughout the United States and then, of course, around the world. Each one um, can handle up to between 20 to 25, maybe 30 repeaters at a time. And depending on what your um, keying up which talk loop ID that you're uh, transmitting out, it'll take that you know that information and then repeat it out to all the other boxes that are currently subscribing to that same talk group. And uh, obviously allows us to, to link all those systems together. So like for example, the STARS talk group, um, we have capability of um, being heard on 25 different uh, repeaters um, in Utah, one in Arizona, one in Idaho, um, up and down Central California, for the most part, uh, one in Southern, or actually, what, two in Southern California, or three in Southern California, and then it looks like we have two or three in the um, San Francisco Bay Area, Oakland area. So it provides us a, a quick way of uh, being able to uh, communicate back when we're in those areas. Uh, hopefully, that's a semi okay explanation to be set next time. Thanks for that, Tony. Totally appreciate that. Uh, J7PLU, back to you, Sam. All right, so, uh, yeah, if you, um, uh, you probably uh, missed that because of our audio issues. Um, so that was a brief explanation of how VMR repeaters work and how they're all connected, kind of. And, um, yeah, so um, hopefully you <laughs> heard it that time. So uh, W7XM, QZ7HY. Uh, go ahead, uh, D7XM. Yeah, thanks for that, uh, Tony. Now we uh, heard you nice and loud and clear, so uh, thanks for that, Tony, once again, and um, KG7HPY. Okay, no problem. Anytime. Uh, D7XM. All right, so thanks for hopping on, everybody. Um, uh, I will be here again uh, next Friday at 5.30 if everything goes well. Um, here on AmateurRadioClub.net, Friday 5.30. Um, so yeah, and next week, like I said, uh, it'll be talking about a Kenwood uh, 520, which I'll have by then to uh, kind of refurbish, uh, make it look nicer, and fix it up, and um, that'll, be, that'll be fun. So, KG7HBY.